How much? 100. 100 can you How much was the Gucci bag? How much was that? No, no, no. I want to show my... Oh, you don't want video? One check. Two check. Yeah. Here goes nothing. This guy keeps going back and forth. It's concerning me. Can I help you? No clue where the hell I am right now. And look, look at this view. We really pushed the envelope on this one. Well guys, it's our last day here in Phuket. And sadly, it's also our last day in Thailand. Sweaty it crop. I'm certainly gonna miss this place. So I'll tell you what, let's head back over towards that Banglo Road. I like that spot where they had that sort of fish market there, open air, where we could pick out anything we want and have them cook it up for us. It's another beautiful day and I'm hungry. Join me for lunch. Guys, it's hot. This sun is beating down on me. I made the mistake of wearing all black. I still got a long way to go. I need a hat. I left my barefoot blogger hat foolishly back at the uh, Airbnb. So let's see if I can find one here. Hi, boss. Hello, how are you? How much are the hats? The baseball caps, how much? 350. 350? But how many did I get this Man, that's expensive. I, that's cheaper at home. Two pang, two pang. Thank you. Hello. Hello. We're jamming, baby. We're jamming to the in India music. India. See, guys, I have no room for anything. Like, I could get something like this, like a cowboy hat. I have no room. I couldn't fit it in my bag. A baseball cap, maybe. Too big. Don't worry, there's plenty more on the way. And they probably get cheaper as you get closer to Bangalore Road. Are you really from Brooklyn? I'm sorry. I had to... <laughs> no, no. Third person wearing something that says Brooklyn, they're not. I'm the only guy here from Brooklyn and I'm not wearing this shirt. We've been there and we love it. I love it, I love it. Have fun, guys. They're not from Brooklyn. Okay, hold on, we got hats here. We got hats. See anything good? I can't wear black. I was thinking of go going with white or red. Keep looking, keep looking. You gotta keep looking and you gotta negotiate. It's all part of the experience. Okay, here's another guy. What's your prices? Are they good? Yeah, which one? Good cheap prices? I don't know, something that says Thailand on it maybe or Phuket. What colors do you got? Yeah. How much, how much? Price. Give me a good price, man. Come on. Two Oh, man. Two pang, two pang. How much you get? 100. 100? 100, man. How much? 100. 100, can you not? What? Can't do it for 100, man. 120. 200 last time. What? Yeah. All right, keep looking, hold on. It just says Thailand. That kind of covers all the bases. 140. What? <laughs> they got NYPD here. Red Bull. No, 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 no Red Bull. Makes me too nervous. I kind of like the white Thailand. White goes good with the black. I might do the white. Hold on. Goes good with the white beard. He's steadfast on his price. He ain't letting up. 200. What do you think? 200. Okay, guys. Bottom line is, it's too hot to walk around without a hat. I need one, so. He's got a deal. All right, my friend. Okay, 200. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Whatever. It's functional. I don't know how it looks, but it's functional. It gets the job done. So 200 baht actually is a very good deal. Anyway, it'll keep my head covered. Phuket. It's not Phuket. Don't forget. All right, the salesmen are gonna jack up the prices on me when they see me coming with this hat. It's like a bulletin board for tourists. Okay, guys. There it is, Bangla Road. Let's cross the street. I have worked up quite the appetite with all that shopping and walking. 
Let's go, chow. Yeah, pedestrians do not have the right of way. They have to carve out their own right of way. I probably should have waited. I could have got it here for 150. I thought it was the year of the dragon. It's the year of the Louis Vuitton rabbit. Those are cool. I haven't seen those before. I like that style, upside down. I like it. He's got his rally glasses on. I'm really looking forward to this. The only problem with it is the heat. It's kind of sort of out in the middle of the open and it's, it's a hot day. Where is it? Did I pass by it? I think I passed it. I think it's back towards the beginning. Oh, shit. I need to pay more attention. All right, I gotta turn around, guys. I hit the beach here. It's funny, this street seems so much longer when you're walking it at night because there's so many people. But when there's nobody here in the middle of the street and there's actually traffic, car traffic going through it, you realize it's not that far in between the signs. Was I dreaming, guys? I thought it was off Bangalore. Was it down here? Where the hell was that place? I don't remember. Beautiful. You did it? Nice. It's Buddha? Yeah. Like your amulet. Nice amulet. Do you like my amulet? It's good. 750 baht. So that's like, it's a little over 20 bucks. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Okay, guys, I found it. Let's go, uh, let's go chow down. Oh, it's not open? Oh. Guys, I can't believe it. Oh, you got some food here. Oh man, lobster. Oh, this is a cool spot. It's not open. My guess is it doesn't open till later in the day because of the fact that it is so hot here. I want to eat lobster. What happened? It's closed. Four o'clock. Oh, I can't wait that long. Where can I go eat lobster now? Where? Lobster. Lobster. Now. Eat. Now. Where? This Gucci bag. How much was the Gucci bag? How much was that? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, no problem, no problem, I understand. You guys, to be honest with you, I, I, yeah, I don't know. This might be a uh, midstream change in plans, I don't know. I'm gonna just play it by ear. Because it doesn't open till four o'clock. It could be for a variety of reasons, but one of them is certainly because it's just too hot. It's just too hot over there. Yellow metal tables are just sitting out there in that basically parking lot. And if I'm going to get something like a lobster, I want to enjoy the whole experience. I don't want to be sweating like a pig eating a lobster. Wow. Look at the ocean today, guys. The water looks greener, and the sand looks whiter. Let's cross over here if we can, between motorcycles. Yeah, my friend. I want to just brave the traffic to show it to you today. The sun is blaring. But look at this. Hey, look who it is! Oh my god! You guys remember him? Yeah. The guy from Turkey in Chinatown. Shit, what is your name? Give me the first letter. Ura. My name's Ura. Ura. I mean, yeah. You know what? I don't. Did you ever tell me your name? Maybe you did. So here you are in Phuket. We keep bouncing yeah. it. Guys, what are the odds that I saw him in Bangkok? Yeah. And now I see him here in Phuket. And I'm glad that he recognized me. So yeah, um, I'm talking with my friends. Oh, oh, you know. oh! What's up, buddy? Yeah. Hey, hey! Nice you to see you. Here. Cool, cool. <laughs> come to come to Phuket, come man. To Phuket. What are you waiting for? You're Let's just, go. It is really good. Yeah. Tomorrow is my last day. Here. Okay. Yeah. Well, so you again, Bangkok. All right, guys. Right. Let's give a big round of applause. Don't Great meeting you, and enjoy the rest of your time here in Thailand, and yeah. get home safe. Okay. Thank you. Ura, ladies and gentlemen. Ura. Thank you. Take Have care. A good day. You too. Now, if I'd had the sustenance, what I would do is I sit down here under the shade of one of these awesome, it's like a pine tree or um, a 
palm tree and do what he's doing. No, I have a coconut with something in it or uh, or a beer or something, but but I gotta eat something first. You know what, I couldn't think of a better place to get a massage than right here. I think I'm all lined up. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I like a little more space, a little more space. So they serve stuff here, guys. I think it's all drinks, though. Yeah, this is, this is drinks, guys. Oh, pretty much every kind. Do they serve food on the beach here? No, you can't get food here? Food? Food, food here, I had food. Where, where? Well, I have food here, food menu. You have food? Thailand. Where's the where's the food come from? Come from where you have the food at the restaurant? Yeah, restaurant. Yeah, go. So go to my store. This is your store. So you go to the restaurant, you get restaurant. the food, and you yeah. bring it back. The order here, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what you got. Let me see. Stir fried shrimp with garlic sauce. Oh, man, you got a lot of food. You got a lot of food. Sit down. Eat it. How much? Uh, table and chair. How much? Table, and chair, table umbrella. Chair. Sit down. Uh, eat. Two. One sit down. Had one hundred baht. 100 baht. 100 baht to sit whole down day, whole day. Whole for the whole day. whole day. Who gets the money? You? I just got money. <laughs> you get the money, okay. <laughs> okay. You got shrimp. What else? You got lobster? No lobster. Pasta. Oh, no lobster. Pasta. No lobster. One chair. Two chair. Yeah. No, by the beach. Uh, first line, yeah. By the beach. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. One chair. One. Oh, it's hot, guys. Yes, but I thought chair. this is a good way to go. Right here, we'll order something to drink. I was worried about it being hot, and they came here into the real frying pan. But you know what, guys? I might get into that water. Oh, okay, he's back. Here we go. You got the menu? Uh, Thailand beer is Chan Singha. Yeah. Beer. Okay, give me a Singha. Ice Singha. cold. Probably should get something beachy, though. Something beachy. Look at that, $10 here for a burger. It's cheaper to get this stir-fried sh garlic shrimp. Can you believe that? I don't know why the Western food is so expensive here. I definitely don't want anything soupy. I feel like I'm in soup right now. Singa. Okay, singa. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, Masaman chicken curry on pizza? Nah, I don't think so. Anyway, drinking a giant beer on an empty stomach. Not advisable. Okay, so burgers are good here? Yes. Burgers are good. All right, give me a cheeseburger with fries. Cheeseburger with fries, yes. Okay, thank okay. you. All right, guys. <sighs> Gotta go barefoot because my feet are roasting. <sighs> okay, guys, that's better. Nice and comfortable. Anyway, it's the beach. It's kind of sort of vacation, even though it's also work. But you gotta have the proverbial cheeseburger in paradise when you're on the beach, so that's what we got. We definitely had quite the journey here throughout Thailand. Cover a lot of ground, see a lot of different cities, islands, and I'll never forget it. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Cheeseburger in paradise? Yes. All right, let's go, let's see it. And uh, french fries too? French fries. Uh, napkins, yes. oh, beautiful. Do you have a towel? Towel, yeah, 50 baht, I rent. 50 baht? Yes. Towel, rent. 35, 35. 35, no. <laughs> Okay, give it to me, 50 okay. baht. Yeah, give me a towel. You can't complain about less than two bucks for a towel, guys. Towel. Oh, towel. Yeah, okay, yeah, yes. throw it right back there. Good. Thank you, man. Yes. Okay. So 50 and 100. Yes. All okay. right. Uh, what about 150? 150. Probably. Yeah, that's okay. a good deal. That's yes. a good deal. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Okay, guys. Time to chow. Here goes nothing. Hmm. It's good. Nice mushy bun. Anthony Bourdain would definitely give the seal of approval on. Mmm.
Okay, guys. I actually switched over to the Go to the uh, iPhone. From what I understand, if you drop your iPhone under the water, it'll actually be okay. It's actually watertight. I have never tested that theory, and I never would, but I have my entire life right now in that chair, and I ordinarily would never leave it like that. But I decided to, uh, I gotta get into this water. So, and I'm in this water and it feels great. It's a little cold, cool today. <laughs> Still very warm. All right, hold on, somebody's approaching my stuff. I gotta watch. Let's see, keep walking, pal. Keep walking, let's go. There you go, pass my umbrella. All right, he's gone, wait, how about this other guy? This guy keeps going back and forth. It's concerning me. Now he's looking at my shit. Looking at my shit, it's my stuff. Can I help you? Can I help you? What's up? I'm there. I'm here. This is why you have to watch your shit. I'm sure the guy's a good guy. Maybe he's just for a chair, but he's eyeballing my shit. So that don't fly with me. I mean, there's two chairs right there. Grab that. He's cool. He's just looking for a spot, I guess. I seen him going back and forth. One of the perils of traveling alone is nobody watches stuff. There's no lockers here or anything like that, so I gotta just leave it there. And uh, I seen him walking back and forth. I'm sure he's just, I imagine, he's just looking for a spot that's close to the beach. That's what he wants and he can't find it because he didn't get here early enough. But um, I'm not gonna take that chance. I don't know what his intentions are. I got my passport in there, guys, which I should not have brought with me. But um, it's like I said, I this, this was kind of unplanned. Remember I said play it by ear? That's what I was doing, playing it by ear. So I will wade backwards into the water, keep my eye on my stuff. And I, I, you know what? I would bet it's very safe here and I have, I'm worrying about nothing, but I'm from Brooklyn, man. People where I grew up would steal your shit if you walked away for a second, it was gone. And you know what? Miami's even worse. Miami's even worse. I, I tied up, I chained up my scooter. I chained up my scooter on Washington Avenue and someone stole it. So, with a chain on it, better safe than sorry. Call me paranoid, no problem. When I get back, I know my stuff will still be there. Anyway, isn't this beautiful? We got a YouTuber there, we got a YouTuber. I'm assuming because he's talking, he's telling a story. He's wearing jeans on the beach. No, don't wear jeans on the beach. Anyway, guys, this water is absolutely beautiful. I'm having a wonderful time here. My last day in Phuket. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to tell you what, I, the first thing I'm going to do when I get back is plan my next trip. It's interesting, too, guys, how if I'm risking anything, the one thing I won't risk is my iPhone. And that's kind of the other reason I'm using it to, sh to film this. Because even if you lose your passport, it would definitely ruin your day and, and probably be something that would entail a lot of bureaucracy and cost but without a phone man you're dead in the water i don't know anybody here i need a phone so this comes with this is like an appendage this is like my my pinky I, actually it's more like my thumb okay guys i'm nice and cool now spent a few beautiful minutes here looking at this incredible landscape around me beach mountains ocean Umbrellas and lounge chairs. Let's go dry off. What's up, buddy? You got sunglasses? I'm good with the sunglasses. I appreciate it, though. Look at that. Scratchless. Can't scratch those babies, can you? Wow. How much? Oh, he's breaking out the calculator. Why did I ask? 1,200, 1,200, so that's what, like 30 bucks or something? Okay, one more? No, 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 I'm good, thank you. 
This is highly recommended though, you come here. Rent these, I, this is unbelievable. I, honestly, this is a good thing to do every day. I didn't have the time because I was too busy going into the cities to meet the people, which was great. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, but it'd be also nice to come here and like for nothing but a week, just come here, rent these, sit here, chill, and look at that. I see a beer in my future. Hey, I know. Yes. What's uh, what's in the coconuts? What's in the coconuts? Coconut. What's in it? Yes, coconut. Uh, coconut and whiskey. Whiskey. Oh, it's got whiskey. Whiskey, shake, pan, pan. Oh. I had, I had. Coconut in the whiskey. Uh, too bad. Uh, late, late, late. Uh, <laughs> curious. I probably should have done that. I should have got one coconut drink. I think he said there's whiskey in it. Anyway. <laughs> Okay guys, I got the bill. That whole experience, including everything you see here, the towel, the umbrella, the chairs, 770 baht. So that's like a little over 20 bucks for everything. You would have paid more than that just for the umbrella at home. It's like 20, it's like 22 bucks. All right guys, onward and upward. Let's say goodbye to our boy and now. All right, I know. Okay. Thank you for everything. Great okay, experience, okay. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. guy's the best. Come yes. and see I know, my friend here okay. in Phuket next time. You are here on this beautiful island. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much, my friend. Okay, Great job. Okay. Guys, before we complete this journey, our beach day here today on our last day in Thailand, I want to walk this way. Last time we walked towards those mountains, we didn't go that way so this way we could say we covered the whole beach cliffside to cliffside let's go there's that little wall right there and then it gets busy again over here when you get on this side closer to these mountains Tell you what, these uh, wave runners are a big business here. I am Christian. He's a your who? Christian? What is your name? Uh, Udka. Udka, ladies and gentlemen. Notice my Buddha. Uh, yeah. What you think? Where, where, where you come from? Bangkok. Bangkok. Yeah, I got it in yeah. Bangkok. I come from America, though. No. He comes from he comes from Bangkok. I come from America. Buddha Chanto. Buddha Kanto? Yeah, Buddha Chanto. This one really good. It's good? Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Thank you. Welcome to Thailand. Everybody come to Thailand. Welcome. No, don't come to Thailand. Mm. Only I come to Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay, you. have a good day. You too. Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> I can walk 10 feet. Mm. And he's at a... What man? What man? Your name? Uh, Buddha. 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 I think so, right? Yeah. You tell me. You're from Thailand? Yeah. So you know. Are you Buddhist? You're Buddhist? Yeah, same. Same? Oh, ah. look at his beautiful amulet. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, I love it. Where you get? Where uh, you wear? Where you get this? Friend. Where? A friend. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think of mine? It's good, Polit. no? Polit. Polit. Yeah. Oh, logo. oh logo. police logo. <laughs> All right, he's keeping us safe, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Keeping us safe. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, it's kind of got a different vibe here on this side of the beach, guys. It almost uh, feels like a different beach. But I got to tell you, all in all, I really like Patong. I mean, if this is the worst of the beaches, I can't imagine how nice the other ones are. I've been hearing a lot about Freedom Beach, Kamala Beach, uh, Karan Beach, I think it's called. I didn't get to make it to any of those. All the reason for another trip. I got help coming, you got help coming. 
It's not something you see every day, right? You speak English? Yeah. Not something you see every day. Guy, well, you know, guys struggling with it here on the beach, loading it up. I think they do it more than one time, so they should know how it works. There you go. Where are you from? Germany. Germany. So that's definitely not something you see every day. No, <laughs> A lot of your comrades here, I see. They made it. They did it. Okay. Seems a little more private over here. I mean, it's not private in the least, but compared to that, I don't see any tourists that are sitting out here, really, to speak of. We got this little uh, little port over here, pier. And uh, if you're looking for something a little more quiet, but you want to be in Patong, just walk to the end of this beach. It's that time of the day. What's up, guys? Where'd you guys go? Did you go to the islands, PP? Freedom Beach. Freedom Beach? Yes. Oh, you have to take a boat to get there? Yes. Oh, I yeah, didn't yeah. know that. I oh, thought you... Yeah, you can take it over the street. Yeah. My later is so... I heard it's a, I heard it's a good Much beach. For us. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Italy. Italy in the house. I love it. I'm going to come see you guys this summer. What's your name on the blog? Barefoot blogger. Barefoot, even though I have shoes on. Trust me, you're barefoot, I'm not, but... Okay. Guys, where else, other than Europe, are you going to meet a German and literally 20 seconds later, a bunch of Italians getting off a boat? Has this guy got, what is that, gasoline or his luggage? Gasoline? Yes. Gasoline? No smoking? No. No smoking? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, this is from, from the car, right? Oh. Uh, the car, this one. It's different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. All right. Smoke them if you got them. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Gilligan been here? Yes, Gillen ain't going nowhere in that thing. Neither is our boy from Castaway. He'd be better off on those coconuts strapped to himself. Wilson! Well guys, all jokes aside, I think we have pretty much reached the end of the line. Or have we? Perhaps we can traverse underneath. Going under a bridge, is that bad luck? That's just a ladder, right? Okay, about to find out. I had to walk this beach officially end to end. Yeah, check this out, guys. This is the Patong Jetty docking service. It's like a little port here. I think this at one time was a swing hanging from that tree. Now, it's a seat upon which I shall sit. Carefully. No, I think we're good. Well, guys, we have reached the end of the line. Not only here on this beach, not only here in Phuket, but also here in Thailand. And it was a time in my life I will always treasure. Till next time, from the white sand beaches, a Patong Beach. All right, hold on. Bonus footage. I shouldn't have ended it that fast. It looks like there's a little inlet over here. Let's head in for a closer look. That ice doesn't stand a chance. I give it 15 minutes. It's the perfect spot to learn how to play the guitar. Good for him. And look at this. There is a road coming down from those mountains. And a little 
estuary. Is that what it's called? I don't use that word too often, so I finally had a chance to use it. I'm going with it. Estuary. Wow, guys, the view from here is spectacular. Looking back from whence I came. Let me get across this, because it looks like there's some stuff going on back over here on the other side of this bridge. And I don't just mean the guy doing the torso twist. Guys, look at this. This is incredible. There's like a whole village back in here. Wow. I think this vlog's still going. False outro. Onward and upward. I want to go that way. Yeah? Okay. That way? Can I go that way? Okay. You take me. I would have paid them to be my taxi, but I think uh, they're going out to do some fishing. He said I could do it though. Let's give it a shot. Guys, it's like quicksand over there. Maybe I can walk up along this wall a little bit. Let's try it. Oh. No clue where the hell I am right now. But that hasn't stopped me before. So where the ocean ends and this little estuary runs under the bridge, turns into these canals here and these villages alongside it. Uh, they got dogs. They got dogs. A vlogger's worst friend. What are those things? Oh man. Those little hermit crabs. Can you guys see them? Rolling around down there? So this must be where a lot of the people that own these long tail boats live. Guys, I'm definitely off the beaten path right now, and I'm really taking some chances walking here where I really don't know where I'm at, but... You know, Bill, there's one thing I've learned in all my years. Sometimes you gotta say, what the fuck? Make your move. rock over here. Guess they're getting ready to do something. Whoa. See what's up here because I don't want to be the victim of somebody's junkyard dogs. Some kind of poop there that ain't human. Forget barefoot, Bigfoot. Okay, this is perfect. I can come out here as it turns in. And look, look at this view.
these are all local Thai fishermen, tour boat operators, and excursion runners that live really in these shacks right here where they have access to their boats and the ocean. It's incredible. Well guys, we really pushed the envelope on this one. We certainly did some exploring outside of the tourist zone that is really just on the other side of that bridge to here among the locals to see how they live and where they live. And I'm proud to be among them. Till next time, from the villages of Phuket, just beyond the ocean, this is the Barefoot Vlogger saying, stay well, stay tuned, and life's about the experiences. They're out there waiting, guys. Don't keep them waiting too long. <laughs>